Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and this is our lesson on solving one-step addition and subtraction equations. It's a long title, but it says basically what to expect, which is addition equations, subtraction equations, and practice, practice, practice. That's what we're going to be doing today. Let's look at addition equations. Here are some examples of addition equations. They're equations that have a variable, an operation, and numbers, right, and addition. All of these have addition in them. 7, n, 7 plus n equals 13. 5 plus x equals 6. 17.3 um, plus a equals 19. x plus 4 equals 104.5. These are examples of addition equations. Equations that have addition in them and have a variable and numbers. So let's talk about how to solve this equation. And I know you're probably thinking, Wow, I know the answer already, but please follow these steps and things will work out. So the first step is that you find the variable. Where is the variable in this equation? The variable is the letter, it's right there, it's the letter x. Then we ask ourselves, what happened to that letter x? What happened to it? And in this case, we added 5 to it, x plus 5. So what happened to it? It added 5. So we're going to do the opposite to that on both sides. In other words, we're going to subtract 5 from both sides of this equation. Equations need to be balanced, so we're going to subtract 5 from the left and subtract 5 from the right. That's how we solve an equation. This is sometimes called inverse operations or opposite operations. Addition is undone using subtraction. So 5 minus 5 is 0. That leaves us with x by itself on the left side. And 9 minus 5 equals 4. We can check our work by saying is 4 plus 5 equal to 9. And it's, it's true, it is. Now, warning. I know you might be saying I know that 4 plus 5 is 9, so I'm just going to skip all those steps and plug it in. Please don't. The reason that I'm suggesting you don't do this is because if you follow these steps now, you can use those exact same three steps for solving problems that look complicated like this, negative 4 plus x equals negative 15.8. You probably can't do that one in your head. You Maybe you can, but more complicated equations, solving them, you follow the same exact steps. And if you can follow them for simple equations, you can follow them for complicated equations. Now it's time for you to practice. I want you to pause the recording, try and solve this one. Remember to follow the steps. Even if you think you know the answer, follow the steps. Try and do that on both sides. Go ahead and pause the recording and solve that. Welcome back. The first step is to find our variable. What's our variable? In this case, it's a. 2 plus a. a is the variable. And what happened to it? We added 2. So to undo adding 2 to a variable, we are going to subtract 2 from both sides of this equation. 2 plus a minus 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. So that leaves us with a by itself. That's what we're looking for. On the left side, we want the variable by itself. On the right side, we have 10 minus 2, which is equal to 8. Again, at the beginning, you might have said, oh, I know 2 plus 8 is 10, and that's fine. But if you can solve following the steps for this question, then you can also solve following the steps for the next one. So try this one out. Again, pause the recording. Try and see if you can solve that one. And we're back. I find my variable. Variable is x. What happened to it? I added 7. x plus 7. See that? Here's my variable. This is what happened to it. So x plus 7. How do I undo the plus 7? I'm going to do the opposite to both sides. So I'm going to subtract 7 from both sides. x plus 7 minus 7 gives me x and 0. So I get x by itself on the left, which is what I want. And I have 11.1 minus 7, which gives me 4.1. This one's a little bit more challenging because I added in a decimal. Not a terribly complicated decimal, but a decimal. So it kind of made you use these steps. You need to follow the steps because the equations will get more complicated. And we're going to start throwing in positive and negative numbers in the future. Follow these steps and you will always be able to solve them. 
Now let's switch over to subtraction equations. Look, they're all the same. Subtraction equations are equations that have letters, numbers, and subtraction. So let's go ahead and show you how to solve those. Here's an equation, x minus 4 equals 8. To solve a subtraction equation, we find the variable. There it is. We ask ourselves, what happened to our variable? We had x and then we subtracted 4, minus 4. That's what happened. So I'm going to do the opposite to both sides of the equation to keep it balanced. In other words, I'm going to add 4 to both sides of the equation. See? And the reason I do that is to get rid of the stuff that's next to x. I want to get rid of this x minus 4. So minus 4 and plus 4 undo each other. And I'm left with x by itself on the left. And on the right, I have 8 plus 4, which is equal to 12. Again, I can check my work. Is 12 minus 4 equal to 8? Yes, it absolutely is. And that's how you solve a subtraction equation. Again, you might say, I know 12 minus 4 is 8. I've been able to do all these problems in my head. Why can't I just skip these problems? Now, look at the question at the bottom. x minus negative 4 is equal to negative 16.8. I don't think you can do that one in your head. If you can, that's great. But the equations become even more complicated than that. So following the steps, Following the steps that I list, you will be able to solve every equation, every equation, and it'll even if you can't do it in your head. So follow the steps. Even if it seems easy, I want you to follow the steps. Here's a first practice question. Pause the recording. Try that one on your own. Go. Hi, welcome back. What did you get for an answer? I can't hear you talking, but thanks. All right. So where's my variable? A, what happened to my variable? minus 7. So I'm going to do the opposite to both sides. I'm going to add 7 to both sides of this equation. Negative 7 and positive 7 undo each other. Leave me with a on the left. 9 plus 7 is 16. That's what I have on the right side of the equation. That's how you solve an equation. Try it again. Here is another question for you. Pause the recording and try this one. Remember to follow the steps. All right, step number one, find the variable, b. What happened to it? Minus 2 point or 5.2. So I'm going to do the opposite to both sides of this equation. I'm going to add 5.2 to both sides of this equation. So it becomes b minus 5.2 plus 5.2. Those positive and negative 5.2s give me 0, and I'm left with b by itself on the left. And on the right, I have 10.5 plus 5.2, which gives me 15.7. Again, following these steps, all you'll need to do is one step of addition. Okay, And that will help you to be successful. So, tips for success. One, don't skip the steps. Two, don't skip the steps. Three, practice, practice, practice. Hope that lesson's been helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.